today we are going to do a celebration of life and flower ceremony to honor teammates that we've lost, we remember them, and we celebrate our life. Father, we come to you today and just so thankful. Dallas United Pink formed in 2015. Um, six of us got together and we started recruiting women from all over the DFW area for a breast cancer dragon boat team. Most people in Dallas didn't even know what a dragon boat was. We have women who are metastatic that are currently in treatment. They'll be on the boat with us today. And we have women who are 20 plus year survivors. So we all have heard the diagnosis. They're all mothers, sisters, daughters, uh, who's kind of found each other through this community. And I was just really looking for an outlet to get away on the weekends. It's a sport that's easy to get into, not technically too difficult, and it's a very camaraderie-driven sport, and that's what I think they're all sort of look for and they really enjoy on the weekends. Ruth Marie Warnock, February 23rd, 1965 to December 2nd, 2016. Rest in peace. There's a side of me that says, how did I get so lucky? I'm 25 years out. They're young women and they're, they're fighting for their lives. I want to work truly hard to make today something special, not only for the paddlers that are fighting for their lives, but for our new members who've, who've never connected it all together and, and know what we're really all about. We I was kind of like, what? What is dragon boating? <laughs> My name is Marisa Hunt. I'm a breast cancer thriver. And a thriver means that I have metastatic breast cancer. So I will be in treatment for the rest of my life. I can remember I was in my kitchen and my doctor had called me and I just immediately collapsed my floor and cried and didn't know what to do. And then my next going call was to my mom. Knowing that you have these ladies to support you and anyone to support you is just, it makes you wake up every day and knowing that if something went wrong today, I have these people to rely on. They are supported in every way they can, whether on the water or whether on the land. I think being their coach, I've learned so much and I'm absolutely blessed to, to know that, you know, what I define as big problems is really not a big problem compared to what they're going through and what they're facing. It's a tremendous uh, camaraderie uh, with the women. Uh, everybody has the same ticket to get on the team. Uh, not necessarily one you want, but I tell you what, if you, if you get the ticket, you might as well make use of it. What it gave to me was the thought that I was going to live. Is the support, the encouragement, it changed my whole mindset. And I think that's half your battle, is your mindset. 